Welcome aboard, it's Captain G with Operation Drago 6.2 NATO. Dateline, Rhineland, West Germany. For the first time since their initial attacks in Europe, the Warsaw Pact forces have been turned back, addressing the multinational NATO field armies via radio the British Prime Minister quoted her predecessor and the last wartime Prime Minister of the United Kingdom in saying, this victory is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. All right, beginning this turn, we're moving to the planning phase and we are going to start with technology. So NATO is, uh, has four major armory bases still. Thank you, Rhineland. So we're gonna roll four tech dice. Uh, number one is precision guided munitions. Number four is advanced submarine launch ballistic missiles. Number 10 is chem warfare. We're at stage two, we wanna move up to three. And number 11 is advanced sonar we start at two we want to move up to three so two we need to get on the board and two we want to move forward with all right and i see the green die is hiding there so let me show you that and we have an unsuccessful two an unsuccessful six but a very successful 11 on Chem Warfare, and an equally successful 10 um, for Advanced Sonar. And, and math is fun, boys and girls. 10 and 10 and 11 and 11. And there are parallels in the universe if you know where to look. All right, so that moves Chemical Warfare and Advanced Sonar both to Stage 3 for NATO. Let's, uh, well, let's stay there because we have one more thing before we do uh, do place units, and that is release of nuclear weapons. Um, and for some reason, the final countdown stopped, but so be it. All right, uh, right now, NATO has two land zones under Warsaw Pact occupation. North Germany and Bavaria. Each are worth three. So we get one dice per IPP for home country land zones occupied by the enemy. And as we uh, covered last time, if there's ever a land zone taken with no IPP value, that just gives us one dice as well. We need an 11 or more on any one of these dice for the political authority, political release to our military commanders to use battlefield nuclear weapons. Oh, there we go. After two rounds of war, NATO grew a spine. Four, three, six, five, 12, and 11. And on our own, uh, the device started up the music. Final countdown. So that does change a few things. Let's go over here. Two, pardon the laundry. Oh, terrible, you're looking behind the scenes. Not supposed to ever see that. All right, so if you look here at the DEF CON level, we're gonna move to DEF CON 1 because we now have nuclear author release authority. Battlefield nuclear weapons released to use against Warsaw Pact. And we have four artillery that can be used for chemical, uh, regular munitions, conventional munitions, or now battlefield nuclear munitions. All right. So let's go over here. Sorry. When you're on the stand and move, I should have just moved the camera instead of the whole stand. That was horrible. I apologize. So I got to place these immediately. I did not anticipate this, did not count on this, so I did not include these in any of my um, attacks. So I will place one. Can you see Marmara? You should be up to. I'm going to place one in Marmara. 
and I'm going to place three in Picardy. And I can use them this turn, but I, like I said, I did not include them in any of my attacks. I'm not changing any of my attacks. I, I told Flak88 that I wasn't going to use Battlefield nukes. Um, but I can move them non-combat if I so wish. All right, that was fantastic. Now let's go purchases. And that does not change any of my purchases either. But I will move these up. So... I think the U.S. mentioned this at the end of their turn, but um, on NATO's last turn, I messed up the NATO income level. Uh, first off, I took a penalty away for the terrorists based uh, from my cash on hand, and that penalty goes into effect at the collect income phase. So I took four when at the, by the time we got to the collect income, there were only three terrorists on the map. So that was a one IPP swing um, in NATO's favor. And the max level, when you added up the IPP count of all of NATO territories, is uh, 56. So I was starting from the wrong number. So that meant that NATO had 54 IPP cash on hand. And with that, uh, they are going to build, and can you see that? Yes. Um, we're going to upgrade an airbase in Picardy from a minor to a major. We're, that's six. We're going to spend nine on three surface-to-air missile batteries. That's a total of 15. We're going to buy an MBT and a mech. We're also going to buy one next-gen MBT. So eight and six is 14, so that's 29 so far. We have four more mechs. At four each, so that's 16, so that puts us to 45. We are going to buy two paramilitaries for four and an ASW helicopter for two, that's six. And that takes us to 51. And three and a light infantry takes us to 54, no remainder. Here are the five um, cruise missiles because NATO is, is using its entire inventory of crews and ASMs uh, during this round, so they'll have nothing left. So I'll be adding two ASMs, because they keep taking North Germany and that large shipyard. So only two, and then five, uh, one each for the major air bases. Okay, so let me pull those back off camera. We'll come back to them later. And that completes, so we got nuclear release, that completes the planning phase. Let's go to combat movements. So you should be able to see both white and uh, both white and yellow dice uh, about the map. The yellow die represent air or missile strikes only. White will be regular combat. So let's go over the yellow dice first. Number one in M8, we're firing two cruise missiles at the Soviet fleet. One cruise missile is being fired from the French cruiser, Le Cobert, and one from this NATO attack bomber, which is flying directly up and is not entering the sea zone. Uh, and we'd already established that the Yak-38s cannot scramble. So they're just gonna go up and fire two cruise missiles. So that's one. Two is up here in West Czech at the air base there. The major airbase in Lazio is firing a cruise missile one into uh, Venezia or Venice, two into Austria, now that uh, Warsaw Pact has brought it into the war, and then three into West Czechoslovakia targeting that uh, airbase. Um, the Warsaw Pact does not have AMDs, the Soviets do, but their um, Eastern European cousins do not. So I'm just rolling for damage that's an auto hit. So that's number two. Number three is in East Germany at the major air base. Same thing. Um, this is a cruise missile strike, so they do not have AMD. And this is being fired from the major air base in Rhineland. One, two. Okay. And then number four up here in uh, Operation Luck of the Irish. Uh, we're going to send this naval 
attack bomber from uh, London or Southern England. What's it called, really? Southern England. One, two. And then from this coalition air base in Paris, this uh, tornado flying one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll have three left. Um, I am using, if I didn't announce it, I, I'm sorry, I wrote it down and I placed it. I am using the spy sat again on this Soviet fleet to help target these cruise missiles. So I cannot use it here. It only has one. So both of these are at half value. So I'll be rolling two fours. Those are the four major air and missile strikes. Um, four regular combats. The terrorists have taken root in Albania. So we are launching from Marmara, from Turkey. We're sending one air cavalry unit that is going to move one into Greece, two into Albania. We're sending one airborne infantry flying one, two, the same route. And that air assault is being supported by the two Navy fighters flying from M7 Greece and into Albania. So two uh, naval fighters flying off the USS Saratoga strike missions. All right. Um, attack two is in Austria. Again, Warsaw Pact brought them into the war. They fought a fierce defense of their mountainous homeland and NATO will try to liberate their little cousins in Austria. So I've already placed two cruise missiles on the map. Um, a French strategic bomber from this joint air base in Paris flying one, two to Piedmont in Northern Italy, where they will fire two cruise missiles, one, two. And they do have two targets. They cannot shoot at the attack helicopter, but those cruise missiles can target the SAM and the air cav. And again, they have no AMD. Um, so they are firing those two at first strike. We are also sending, and it's going to get crowded, but it's going to get crowded with air. For the most part, it's going to go away. So I have two air superiority fighters in Marmara that are flying one to Greece, two to M5, three to Venice, four to Austria to do air-to-air -air combat with those helicopters. A little one-sided fight, but who said you had to fight fair? Um, AS air superiority fighters have a movement of six plus one from the major air base, so that gives them a movement of seven. I just outlined four, so they have three left. So I will put these two... ASF right next to the three fuel gauge. Additionally, from Paris, this NATO ASF will fly one Southern France, two Piedmont, three uh, Venice, four. So they also will have three fuel. So three ASF. Um, but the enemy has a SAM, so I want to suppress that. So we're going to send from... Uh, Marmara, a NATO fighter, one, two, three, four, because it's starting at a major airbase, that's all its fuel, but it has that bonus tank, drop tank that they provide, and uh, that gives them a fifth fuel, so they're going to have to land in Venice. Same with this French fighter in Picardy, flying one, two, three, four, and it will land in Venice as well, and uh, not... What, not being sure what Warsaw Pact Air would scramble where. In addition to those three, I put this at air superiority. So only this fighter is doing suppression of enemy air defense in the first round. Um, third attack is Bavaria, where the... Let me try to take you out of the mount rather than disastrously lifting up the mount. Okay. So... In this territory, he only has three SAMs, so in theory, it was a walk-in, or let so NATO planners believe. So they sent this mech from Benelux, one through Rhineland, two into here. The SAMs would have to um, 
disengage because they didn't have any targets. So they retire and, and that would make us uh, victorious. However, those dastardly commies scrambled one, two, three, let me pull you back a little bit, four early gen fighters and a regular fighter into that territory um, to drop in. So he's scrambling. Now there is a minor air base here in East Czech and a major one here from East Germany. So clearly the three from East Germany don't have a problem. The one, um, I guess, I don't know off the top of my head, if, um, if you can scramble one or two from a minor, I think it must be two. Um, I should have looked that up beforehand, but I'm, I'm sure uh, Flack Idiot was correct in that. Um, so that's what we'll do. So that mech is in trouble. <laughs> Certainly, I didn't bring any air support. Going to Northern Germany, the fourth battle. So I'm sending all four of this multinational force, all four of these mechs. I'm just gonna set them aside in the, I'm not gonna put these on the battle board. Um, so this battle against these two MBTs, and the one SAM. I'm also sending the NATO SAM into North Germany. And I guess the presence of that NATO SAM dissuaded um, any scrambling into North Germany from the commies. Um, I'm also firing the last of my cruise missiles from the major air base in London going across the water one, Benelux two, North Germany three, and from Paris one to Picardy two, Benelux three, North Germany. So I'm going to get two cruise missile strikes in that battle as well. All right. So that is all eight of the combats, four air and missile strikes and four regular combats, some more complicated than the others. Ooh. All right. So 17 minute point, we're moving as quickly as I can get you trying to get Flacky and I are trying to get these turns under an hour. I know it's a long time to watch. It's also a long time to film and a long time to upgrade. All right, let's do the cruise missile strikes. I'm sorry, the um, missile strikes. So we'll start with number one, two anti-ship missiles <coughs> and three at four Soviet missiles. I'm, I'm kind of wishing the U.S. had taken out the frigate rather than the, the destroyer last time. That would have reduced by one the ASMs, but it's not, we didn't have this in mind. We went with the biggest ship. Probably a mistake. All right. 8, 10, 11. Can you see those? 8, 10, 11. So the Soviet ASMs all missed. That gives me two NATO whew, anti ship missiles. Here we go. Looking for a five or less. An eight and a five. Can you see that? I hope so. All right. So the five is successful. I do have target select. So I am going to pick the frigate since the US forgot. So the frigate off the Soviet fleet. He is kaput. Hear that? That was the kaput box. Fantastic. Now, for those keeping score at home, we might say, because again, the U.S. explained why it wasn't worth anything to damage a capital ship. But again, hey, Captain G, can't you go after this cruiser and one hit will kill it? Maybe he gets the point defense, maybe he doesn't. True, but these are all capital ships. And between the Americans and NATO, I have now neutered them. They have no escorts. They cannot conduct combat operations. And the communists don't have any shipyards in the med. So these guys are buffed. Buffed? Neutered? I don't know which one is which. I think buffed means made stronger. They're not buffed. They're neutered. They're neutered, Flak 88. Um... That was fantastic. All right, that's what I've been trying to do for four, six consecutive attacks, three consecutive attacks, six missiles, whatever. All right, moving on to number two. Uh, I should have just left you at the box. 
Two is the strike on um, which one is it? Check. So to try to save time, I'm going to do this. The British dice will be Czechoslovakia. The German dice, the black dice, will be East Germany. No AMD. All I'm doing is rolling for defense. These are D2s. So one, two, three is a one. So that's a one. And four, five, six is a two. So that's two. So two damage on the east. I'm sorry, two damage on the west check airbase. And I'll get the markers later. And one on East Germany. So that's takes that takes care of battles two and three. I know you're staring at the box while I'm moving dice around. Let's go to number four. This is the counter-terrorist operation. So NATO has two fours, the naval attack bomber and the tornado. Come on, we need a four or less. Okay, 11 and two. So the two does it. The two will kill the terrorist, take them out, and we can finally bring peace to Ireland. Oh, yeah, I just you just missed me moving a terrorist. Okay. All right, so that completes the four missile and air strikes. Fantastic, wunderbar. Um, now let's go to regular combat. Number one is <clears throat> Albania. Oh, I keep wanting to say Alabama for some reason. So um, Albania has no IPP value. And as we discussed with Crete, um, the terrorists themselves do not defend. It's the nation. And since it has no IPP value, it has an inherent um, paramilitary that defend at two. So the paramilitary will defend at two. And using the same system with the dice outlined on the battle board, but I'm just not putting them on the battle board, but I left them here. Um, so that's the two. I'm hitting them with two, two sixes, which are the naval, uh, naval attack fighters, and one four, which is the air cav, and one three, which is the airborne conducting an air assault, okay? So the purple die is the defender. All right, so the purple die is a 12, that's a miss, that's good. 12, nine, six, seven. That is a miss, a miss, a miss, and a miss all across the board. So we'll go into round two, round two, wow. All right, so luckily the defender again got something higher than a two, got a seven. And here's a two, here's a four, here's a four. That's a cocked five, but it's a five. I'm not gonna reroll it, but that's enough. So Albania, the pro-terrorist regime that was supporting Gaddafi or allowing Gaddafi to have terrorists sell in their country has been deposed and freedom at the end of a bayonet has been established here. And these guys will land during the non-combat, but just uh, spoiler alert, they're gonna land on their carrier. All right, let's move on to number two. Number two, we're going into Austria where uh, Warsaw Pact did not scramble. Um, they have an attack helicopter, an air cav, and a SAM. The SAM is being suppressed because NATO has suppression of enemy air defense. That means they don't get to fire first strike. What does get to fire first strike are the two cruise missiles. So it's paramount for NATO that these hit. So two cruise missiles at five or less. We'll roll the black die. We've grown accustomed to the system or we're getting accustomed to it. I'm not sure what that Glarus, maybe that's better. Okay. 
All right, 10 and a 12. So that is disappointing because those are both misses. All right, so now let's go into the first round of combat. I have three uh, air superiority fighters that will also be fighting at fives. Three at five. I have one fighter that's at six for air superiority. I'm going to roll the air superiority part first. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Six, seven. Those are both misses. I have a one and a two. One here in the corner and a two there in blue. So that's two hits. There's two helicopters. So that's obvious. And then also moving in. Did I, did I fully... I don't think I fully outlined for you. I apologize. I did for Flak U8. I don't think I did for you. Um, Austria. No, I forgot these guys. So uh, Flak U8 knew this. I moved the mech up one, two, and this attack helicopter one, two. Uh, they were part of the battle. Um, and I had it in my notes, and, and Flak U8 had it. I just. Forgot to announce it when I was laying out the fuel. So I apologize for that. All right, so let's go back down here. Austria is mountainous. So the mech, instead of attacking at a three, attacks at a two. It suffers a one penalty. The attack helicopter attacks at a six, and a six is blue. And the fighter attacks at a six, blue as well. I'm not worried about target select because there's at this stage only one target left and that's the SAM. All right, so three is a miss, eight is a miss, two is a hit. So that's the hits I need. So they're done, but, but now, now it's pucker time because that's a lot of air. Um, for the three, I was really hoping the cruise missile would hit. Three SAM strikes, the Air cab defends at a four, and the attack helicopter also defends at a four, but the attack helicopter has target select at one. And I'm gonna use a green dice for the attack helicopter. I'm, look, I'm looking for a one here, which is uh, the target for what Flack wants to do as part of his defense. So these are the defenders. All right. Let's take a look. All right, so the green die, the attack helicopter was a six. So that is a miss. That would be a hit on an attack, but not on defense. A 10 is a miss, a nine, a four, and a four are all misses for the SAM. So fortunately, swing and a miss for Warsaw Pact. So let's pivot. I apologize for messing that up and confusing the viewers and probably my partner as he watched me say hey wait a minute what are you doing where's your guys moving in so commies were the kill box plunk 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 right and i'm um, taking off the roundel that moves the warsaw pack down two I have them at 25, I'm moving to 23. If I'm wrong, Flak 88 will correct me. And I'm moving NATO up to 52. And I'm, um, the attack helicopter can land in there only because the mech is moving in. If uh, Flak 88 had gotten his target select and had been able to kill the mech as, as he had asked to do, then um, I would not have been able to take the territory, even if I killed everyone. That would have remained in communist hands. All right, and I'll land all those aircraft after. Let's move on to battle three. This is the one that was interesting. I thought it was going to be a cakewalk, a Bavarian cakewalk, friends, and uh, not so much. So the Sams all retire. That part I got correct. The mech moves in, but before the troops can start securing uh, the area, they're attacked by four vicious early gen MIGs, one, two, three, four, 
and one fighter has a ground target select, but there's only one mech. So um, that's horrible. And I'm going to roll, uh, what am I? There are no, oddly enough, there's no mountains in Bavaria. Uh, there are in the south, but uh, I don't need to go through there. So no, if I'm coming from Austria, there are mountains, but not from where I'm coming from. So I'm going to attack at a three. So our heroes are the white dice. We want low numbers for the white and high numbers for everything else. This guy could be a hero of the German Republic and yeah, not so much. So he missed the early gen fighters. I think they were attacking. I rolled twos, but I think they're really at threes. Yeah, they should have been threes, but good. This avoids confusion. But the, uh, the main fighter got him. The, the competent fighter killed. So that was a failed attack. And I'm sure some politician some Politburo member in the Warsaw Pact will make a speech about the turning the tide against NATO and the end of the beginning of the end and all that kind of poetic stuff. All right, move on to the last battle. We're, we're down to the last battle and it's only been half an hour, so we're making progress. North Germany. So let's revisit this, friends. What do we got here? We have um, no air on either side. So both Sams will retire. They'll sit up and have coffee and cigarettes and say, you'll capture me or I'll capture you. We'll see. Well, these guys fight it out. I do have two cruise missiles coming in for a strike. And I have four NATO mechs attacking at three and two um, Warsaw Pact MBTs defending at four. So let's, pardon me. Uh, the tripod's got wide leg spread down there. All right, so I have two cruise missiles at five. These are first strikes, so if they get hits, if they both get hits, the battle's over, which is what we'd want. Eight, six, so not so good. I think uh, sabotage, right? Some communist sympathizer in the cruise missile factory sabotaging our efforts. All right, we well, have three white dice on offense and two yellow dice on defense. No, four, sorry, four. Four mechs at three and two MBTs at four. So let's see how they go. All right, nine, 11, 12, horrible, nasty, disgusting. Three, fantastic. 12, and what's this guy in the corner? He's cocked a little, but essentially he's a two. He is a two. And two is a target select, so he gets his choice of max. He'll kill a French one because he's got a bias. And I'll kill all the East German mech. So both sides lose one, or East German MBT. So both sides lose one. Let's re-roll. Three against one now. Go NATO, here we go. This is third battle of North Germany. All right, here's a one. And that was a six. Can you make that out? Doesn't matter what these are. One and a six. So that takes out the second MBT. Victory. Victory for the good guys. NATO has secured North Germany. We've captured their Sam, taken them prisoner. Destroyed their equipment. We have three mechs. Um, on my pieces, it's two French and an Italian, no, oh, two Italians and a French. All right. Fantastic. All right. That's pretty good. I couldn't have really hoped for much more, much better than that. That completes the combat. Let's, uh, do non-combat and let's start by landing all these aircraft. So the helicopters in both battles will land in the territories because of the mech and this aircraft could have landed here. So they're good that way. The strategic bomber will fly back to Paris. So that's this card. Um, all these Warsaw Pact aircraft, I'm gonna re RTB, Flak 88. I think that's the way they go. They successfully defended the zone, so they returned to base. But if I'm wrong and they're supposed to land in that, that zone for some reason, 
Uh, you can correct me on the Soviet turn. I should have asked you. I know they joined the battle. I just didn't know what happened to them if they survive. Because I was planning on them not surviving. Okay, I apologize if I broke the camera or uh, blocked it. So we're going to land the naval air, naval attack bomber. Oh, I keep going naval air, nav air. Put the uh, French cruiser back in its spot. Okay, so he flew five from Paris. One, two, three, four, five. Um, he's going to come back six, seven, eight, which is his max movement, plus the airbase gives him nine. He's going to land in Picardy with the American stealth and the three NATO nuclear um, artillery. And this guy's going to RTB to the naval airbase in Great Britain. Is that all of my air that I, I did? That is all the combat air. All right. So next is, uh, oh, that's not all. It's not even close to all. All right, these guys. I announced where they were going to go. I just didn't put them there. So the two from Marmara will go to Lazio, major air base. The one from Paris will go to southern France. And the two fighters will go to Vinito. Vinito, not Finito. All right. So that's, that's now all the air. Um, in Sweden, Soviets attacked Finland and Sweden in a horrible act of aggression. And uh, Swedes have obviously asked for an emergency membership to be added into NATO. So we are going to ask their forces to pull back because otherwise they'd be, it could be cut off and out of supply. So they're going to pull back into Norway. Um, also moving... So, in this task force, there's the British uh, amphibious assault ship. I am going to embark from that port the Marine and MBT and go 1, 2 to M5 and drop them off. Um, I was going to drop them off. Yeah, Venito uh, was always mine. Yeah, for a second I thought I couldn't because I just took it, but no, Venito has always been mine. So I'm going to drop the MBT and the Marine off at Veneto. I'm also going to sea lift. So this major port, I can sea lift two units in Greece. I'm going to take the SAM, the Greek SAM, and sea lift it to Veneto. So commercial ships following the amphibious assault ship. And this mech... Uh, also embarking on another commercial ship, one, two, and we'll go this way in front of the boot rather than behind to go into this minor shipyard and go into Lazio. The remaining two mechs, the Turks, will uh, go stage right and move back into Marmara, just moving into here. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, Maxim Armor. I'll do a recap status of forces after the video. Um, sea lift, two max, Venice, Norway. Okay, the air superiority fighter here in southern England is going to move up to Scotland. Okay, where he can. Uh, assist in operations up there from the NATO task force, the six fleet task force there. Uh, we are sending an Italian destroyer and a Turkish diesel electric. They're going to go one, two, three. So that's this one. The destroyer and the diesel electric to A40. You see that? That's right at the edge of your vision. So give you a little bit perspective of the Battle of Atlantic. So putting them right here on the edge. Uh, again, trying to encircle and limit and constrain that attack boat without significantly impacting the fleet because uh, these guys are neutered, which is 
super awesome, fantastic. All right. Um, I think that is all of my movements. I've landed the aircraft, Sweden, Phoebus Assault Ship, Greece. Yes, 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 yes. I am... Yes. Yes, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. Now let's place units. Let's move to end of turn phase, place units. So let's go up here. I'm going to move this fleet because I'm not placing anything with the fleet. I'm going to put in its place this build chart, and then I'll move the other one up. Three SAMs. I'm placing one in Rhineland. Uh, I'll put the German one in Rhineland. The other one in uh, Benelux. And one in Marmara. So that gives me three in Marmara. I have the major air base, which I'm upgrading in Picardy. So where's the little air base symbol? Well, wherever it is, it's now a major air base. And Picardy where those bombers are. The stealth bomber and the, uh, the other bomber. These are going in Turkey, in Marmara. So one MBT and another mech into Turkey. This next-gen MBT is going in Rhineland. The major army base can produce four units, so a next-gen MBT, one SAM, and two German mechs. So that is four units. So they're done in Rhineland. These two mechs are going in Benelux, where I have the SAM is one, and two mechs is three two and three okay so that's oh my bad that is a minor that is a minor my bad so i'm going to put one of the mechs in um pickerty put one of the mechs in pickerty glad i caught that okay i hate leaving housekeeping for my partner um oh i wasn't supposed to go up there anyway my bad. One was supposed to go in Lazio. I just didn't look at my notes. So one up here in Benelux. I guess I knew that before. And one in Lazio. All right. Um, the Paras. So it's these guys. Let me get rid of them. The missiles I'll put on the dashboard. The helicopter, the ASW, will go on the carrier that I just moved off screen thinking that you weren't ever going to need it but i'm putting it on the carrier because it can produce aircraft i have this light infantry i'm producing up in scotland and these two paras i'm going to build one paramilitary on iceland and one in greece okay so we've demilitarized the balkan peninsula um, between warsaw pact and myself and so, like I said, I'm going to add all those missiles to my dashboard off camera. So now it's the collect income phase. So let me bring back the NATO. We started this turn at 50 on our production chart. We went up um, two for Austria, and I think I did move Austria. But I don't think I did move the Germany because that would have been three. So I'm going to move... NATO from 52 to 55, so that's plus three. And I'm gonna move Warsaw Pact from 23 down to 20. Um, and again, math check starts with 17. He has this territory that's worth three, so that would be the 20. He's not aligned Libya yet that I'm, that I'm tracking, if I'm wrong with that. If I'm wrong with that, he'll let me know. Tunis is not worth anything, has no IPP value. So that is 55. So that's all the pluses. Now I do subtractions. Okay. So there are, this guy's been cleared out. This guy's been cleared out. So there are still two terrorists on the map. So each one costs me one IPP. So this is how I should properly have done it last time. You take it off at the collect income phase. Also, the dastardly Soviets um, bombed this oil tanker, so that cost me two IPP as well. So that's four. That's a mech they just took away, or an MBT. So that leaves me with 
51. 51 IPP cash on hand. And that completes NATO's turn 6.2. This is Captain G over and out. Okay, Flak 88, disposition of forces for you because we did have a lot of movements, obviously. In Marmara, I have now, I had three, three mechs, we now have six. So six mechs, and I'll chip them out. One MBT, two artillery, one paramilitary, one US light infantry, one US A-10 in Marmara. In Greece, one paramilitary. In Albania, one airborne and one air cav. In Lazio, two air superiority and two mechs. In M5, one uh, amphibious assault ship. Let me recap the NATO half of the two fleets here. So in M7, what's left of the NATO fleet? is one destroyer, two frigates, one cruiser, one supercarrier, embarked on the supercarrier, two naval fighters, one naval attack bomber, and one ASW helicopter that I just built. So he's not on ASW patrol yet. All right. Uh, Venicio, Venice. I have a, Mar a Royal Marine, an MBT, a SAM, and two fighters. In Austria, I have a Canadian mech, and a NATO attack helicopter in the mountains of Austria. Southern France, I've got an air superiority fighter. In Paris, I have the two US B-52s and I have a uh, NATO strategic bomber in the strategic bomber base. In Picardy, I upgraded the major air base. I have three uh, artillery and one attack bomber. In Benelux, I have a mech and a SAM. In Rhineland, I have two mechs, a next-gen MBT and a SAM. And in North Germany, I have three mechs and a SAM. In uh, Southern England, a mech, a naval attack bomber. In A-23, I have a supercarrier with two. Is any of this still on camera? Yes, good. A uh, supercarrier with two fighters, one cruiser, one destroyer, two frigates, four uh, diesel electrics. I wanted to move one of those. Um, if you'll give me a mulligan, I skip this. I'm going to move one Norwegian SSK up to A4. One, two, up to A4 with all these ASW helicopters off Iceland. All right, so revision three SSKs down here, diesel electric submarines, and two ASW helicopters on ASW patrol. In um, southern Norway, Akershus, two Swedish refugee light infantry. In Scotland, one light infantry, one mech, one SAM, one air superiority fighter. I talked about the four ASW helicopters and the uh, diesel electric in A4. I have a NATO paramilitary on Iceland itself, and then the U.S. Air Force contingent in their U.S. Army um, two light infantry protection. Okay, so I think that does it. Good luck on Soviet 6.3. Captain G, over and out.